Find the mistakes in the proof fragments in 36 through 38. The theorem that's being proven here is for any integer n greater than or equal to zero, one plus two plus two squared plus all the way up to plus two to the n equals two to the n plus one minus one. Okay, so the proof is by mathematical induction. So let the property p of n be that this left-hand side equals the right-hand side. That's perfect, that's a great start. Show that p of zero is true. The left-hand side of p of zero is one plus two plus two squared plus all the way up to two to the zero, which equals one. And the right-hand side is two to the zero plus one minus one, which equals two minus one equals one also. So p of zero is true. Okay, so our mistake is probably here. Although I think this mistake is not that big of a mistake. The mistake is subtle. Basically, the first term is the same as the last term. And so we have to ask ourselves, what happened to everything in between? What happened to that two squared? Um, what's in these dot, dot, dots here if the first term is the last term? So we have to be a little careful about our notation here. And so it should be clarified that the left-hand side is one be because the last term happens to also be the first term, which means that there is no second term and there is no third term and so on. And so none of these things should be included really. Other than that, everything else looks very good. Thanks everyone and I'll see you in the next video.